So if you're struggling to create engaging videos for your online business, this interview is for you, where I chat to Adrian Salisbury, who has a multiple six-figure business teaching people how to create engaging videos for their online business. Adrian talks all about his journey as he started as a photographer, going all the way into videography where he actually found a requirement. There was a need that people wanted more help with getting on camera and looking good on camera. That's what he does today. He's got a series of academies helping people look good on camera either recorded or in a live stream. So if this is something you are interested in and need help with, be sure to watch this entire video as Adrian drops nuggets of gold about how to look good on camera. Hope you enjoy the interview. So Mr. Adrian Salisbury, how are you? Um, very thank good. Thank you very much for jumping on. I know your time is precious. Where are you calling in from today? Uh, Peterborough in England. Nice, you always look um, so good on video. Uh, <laughs> is that your home studio? It is, yeah. Um, and I guess we'll be getting into it in this call, but um, this is the sort of stuff you do. So you absolutely you, know, you should look good on video. It's a lot of pressure. That's right. Yeah, I can't. I can't show up looking rough, can I? <laughs> uh, yeah, you're making me look bad. Um, <laughs> Not at all. So yeah, thanks very much for your time. Um, the aim of this call is just to um, chat to you a little bit about what you do, who you serve, um, a little bit about your story as well, because um, we met quite a few years ago now, um, mm. and I, I know some of the stuff that you um you create and put out there to the world it's awesome uh some of the software platforms you've got partnerships with so i guess let's just start with like what do you do online these days uh, and who do you serve we'll get into a bit of a backstory after that yeah absolutely uh it keeps growing to be honest i um uh, we're really serving people <laughs> that want to look professional on camera online yeah. Yeah. um really started out I and mean, we can get into the details of the journey really but initially yes helping people who are on camera stuck with a webcam going ah, i wish i could look like that just yeah. really trying to make this as simple and easy as possible yeah um we're helping them with that and then we're helping them build youtube channels build online courses do live streaming all of those things that really are spin-offs off that once you're looking good uh let's help you get out there is kind Amazing. of thinking cool so um what was your background before the online bit because a lot of people watching yep. this might be thinking about starting an online business or just have what was your background previous to making the decision to go full online yeah i was a photographer uh so we'd been i'd got my own business uh, as a photographer doing virtual tours as well which was a bit different but um yeah so i'd come from so i knew cameras i was yeah. very happy and comfortable around cameras and settings and things um but audio uh, and actually continual lighting is very different to flash sure. lighting strobe yeah. lighting um, so yeah, kind of, I, I was wanting to create online courses. I wanted to create, do some online training really, yeah. um, and had to learn the video side of things. And that, that's yeah. really what brought me into this. Um, I, I did start out in fairness with a, so the, I'd gone from photography. I mean, it's like anything, isn't it? Whatever you're into, you find that people are asking you questions about yeah, it. And everyone absolutely. would come up to me going, I got this camera how do I get it to look like that? Or what am I doing? What do you think to these? And, yeah. and I just thought, okay, there's something quite natural here that I enjoy helping people. I yeah. felt there was a point where I did, I actually was getting more pleasure out of helping people take their photos than actually taking them myself. Yeah. And realize there's something quite natural in there about teaching that I was just enjoying. Yeah. Getting out there and doing that. So my original plan was to start off with a photography course and that's got it. That was where I first got online. Yeah, and then joined BBD. This yeah, is so design, yeah, we and, met and like, like a few of my guests here. We met in Southern California in 2017. That's the one at, um, at a James Wedmore event. And, yeah, um, yeah, we were all sort of finding our feet and wondering what to do online. And and I think it was then you made the decision to go from <laughs> photography to videography. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it was. I I. So I did probably what a lot of people did. Well, actually, it's, there's a more of a backstory that you can go back a few years from that. I was doing some yeah. crazy things, really, of, of ideas. I'd, I'd got this. I was driving around as a photographer. I'm, I'm sort of all over the UK um, for doing these shoots and spent a lot of time listening to podcasts and uh, audio books and things. And I remember Pat Flynn particularly. I really loved yeah. his right at the start of his podcast. Mm. Um, this idea of doing something online and passive income making money yeah. while you're while you're sleeping <laughs> yeah it's, it's not quite as easy as that but <laughs> the reality is it is happening um yeah 
obviously you've got a 24 7 product out there and i yeah. just I, I was trying all sorts of things dabbling at all kinds of things that i was picking up on and trying to do but um the photography one just seemed to make sense so i i i think i did what a lot probably do and just built this course thought this is great and went to sell it and nobody wanted to buy it yeah uh, and I think that was when I saw James Wedmore's adverts for Business by Design and yeah. thought, yeah, this guy, this is exactly, I mean, it's just perfect marketing, isn't it? He, yeah, he absolutely. knew exactly the things to say that yeah. made me go, I need this. Yeah. And so when I joined Business by Design, what was that, kind of summer of 2017, Yeah. Uh, I actually got a photography course that was there, packaged a beginner's guide to SLR photography. And um, joined Business by Design. I had a few people reach out to me saying, you look really good on camera. And, and back 2017, there was a big difference. You know, not yeah. a lot of people were using cameras and doing this. Yeah. I really stood out. And mm. I thought, okay, you know, there's enough people here that have said to me, can you help me with this? It sort of fitted in with this model really of going, okay, yeah, there's a need. I, I, this is quite easy to me. Let me, let me serve over here. Yeah. Um, and, what, and it's a learned, it's a learned skill, isn't it? I mean, yes. we like looking into the lens of a camera and, and talking, it, it's not natural. Yeah. Um, and having the, the understanding and awareness of how to set this up um yeah yeah people have to learn that sort of stuff and i guess it was people tapping you on the shoulder saying i need help to do what you do that's yep. like that uh what inspired you to sort of do this business model absolutely and i'm really excited actually I, i'm so my first customer who who reached out to me from that community that had said um do you teach this do you teach how to look like this and i was saying no it's a photography course yeah. uh, and he went <laughs> well if you did that i would be your first customer and true to his word he was Wow. Um, I still feature him as uh, one of my best before and after Brilliant. videos that I use in my ads. Uh, and I'm actually going to be meeting him in a week's time oh, you when, we go, met... when we go back out to Business oh, right, Design okay, Live. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm super excited. I think of all the people, I'm, I'm excited to meet him and just yeah, I've never brilliant. actually met him in person. But amazing! it was him really that was pushing me that got me to do this rather than yeah. just go, no, I've got a photography course and stick with that. Yeah. I think a lot of people want to, if they're designing some sort of program or, or course, like build it in a vacuum and, and not listen to anything else and then go, yeah. right, I'm really proud of this, <laughs> yeah. put it out there to the world. And then it's like crickets. It's that whole, hmm. yeah, it, it's, a, it's a common theme we see. It's just, if you listen to the, the audience, see what they want, then you can put a course together. So I, I did one of your first, um, your first programs on how to set up your, uh, yeah. your remote office, which was great. Learned a lot in that. And um and yeah, I mean, I, I'm not an expert and I just wanted to know the, the 80, 20, like the basics, we, what do you yeah. need? You need lighting, you need a good camera, like you need a good microphone and that's and that, right. And it that's, stands you out from everyone else. That, yeah. And that's, that's really the, the market, the audience that we're serving. I don't want technical people who really want it. Well, I say, I don't want, they don't tend to come to me. My, yeah. my cell really is, look, you want this result. You're yeah. not interested in learning photography or videography. Um, I can get you yeah. there as quick as possible, and so yeah, that, that's absolutely it. Really, it's it, you don't need to know all the technical things. You just need to be able to look at it and get. Or, or in our case, with the training that we do, just follow the instructions, buy the yeah. equipment we recommend. Yeah, uh, just really. And over the years, we you know since 2017, I think if anything that the, the training is getting smaller and smaller, and yeah. realizing people don't want. You know, when you first start a program like this and you think, oh, I need to put a lot of content in to make it worth it. It's not actually what people are buying. You know, they're, they're, they're wanting the, the quick result. Yeah. And so getting that to them as quick as possible is is really. If they can buy a shorter course that gives them the same result, then they'll Absolutely. buy that, right? Yeah. yeah. It's not about yeah. the length. Yeah. But I think we can do, you know, and I see customers doing this now that I'm helping. And yeah, they're like, oh, it's nearly there. I just I feel I need to add this in and I need to add this in. And I'm saying. But do they need that? Or, you know, is that almost a supplementary or a secondary yeah. course that they could come through? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's really inspiring. That's a that's a great story. Tell me about how, like from BBD to like now, what sort of iterations have you been through? Because I know I know you create quite a few programs. Um, yeah. So how did you come about sort of creating your, I guess, your front end programs? Yeah, well, we... I, there, there's a there's a little bit of a you know we we started in 2017 we were out at yeah. BBD live at the end of 2017 yeah. so I guess that you know the first half of 2018 was very much about 
building out or, or really trying to get people through. And we were getting a steady flow through, but it wasn't enough to yeah. take over the day job. So yeah. I'm still out there doing the photography, the virtual tours. Oh, so um, this was evenings and weekends for you as you're doing yeah, your day job. So you're yeah, planning um, that transition. Okay. Absolutely. And trying to go, right, Fridays, I, you know, if I can get Fridays yeah. to work on this. and But it's really, I'm not good at... And I don't know if it's all guys, <laughs> you know, this whole multitasking. I couldn't do like project management things. I'm, I, I have to be on one thing at a time. And um, so for me to go, oh, multitasking it, it took me a day to get into, <laughs> yeah, to, to even have shifted across to this. So then yeah. it became, I'll try and carve out a few more days, but then the money's not coming in from the day job because I'm not out there chasing leads and things. And I found yeah. that a real tension uh, trying to shift across like this. Um mm. And yeah, I guess start of 2019 was 2019 was the the big year for us really that we'd I was again you know we listened to people we're trying to do different things I was I was trying to do a weekly Facebook live show yeah um, I'd reached out to Glenn uh, Ecam because I said I actually want to do some training videos I want to put some yep. videos up on YouTube um perfect timing really he this is before katie it was just ken and glenn and midori at that time uh, it's, they were saying well we're actually getting asked by our customers for some training videos maybe there's something we could do together here yeah uh, i uh, really wanted to keep this as being my my baby really so i, I called this the ecam live academy and started working with them and yeah we got well actually both of them run, ran at the set i think the summer we did our first our first academy, as people know us for now, these kind of two-week cohort pop-up training, we did a YouTube summer camp uh, in that summer. And then about two months later, Katie had come on board. We decided to do this uh, Ecamm Live Academy. And so the first time we ran that through was in August 2019. We ran it again in January of 2020. Uh, we then went out to Social Media Marketing World with Ecamm and we're on the booth with them. And as we flew back was when COVID hit yeah. and um, our ECAM and us business just exploded really because all of a yeah. sudden everybody's forced online and we were in the right place at the right time to help them both with the camera setup and all this. But, it, you know, there was people that had got fitness businesses or musicians that suddenly had to shift and try and do this on YouTube or somewhere. Yeah. Uh, churches that were suddenly forced online. And yeah, it, it it was fantastic from us from a business point of view, but yeah. it was lovely as well. And I've been hearing across this year, getting out to different events that we've been back out at, hearing people just going, that was an absolute lifesaver. In fact, I was just, we were in Milton Keynes uh, yesterday shopping and uh, I bumped into a customer who I haven't met before. No way. <laughs> in Starbucks, we're standing at the queue and I just went, huh? And I kind of said his name and... um he came across and spoke direct as well. And he said, that was an absolute lifesaver. Amazing. What you did it, it, yeah. um, from his business to be able to pivot online like that. And yeah. so I love that, you know, it, it was brilliant. a complete win-win all around yeah. really. Um, so for anyone that, anyone that doesn't know that's watching this, just sorry, give me a brief <laughs> overview of like what Ecamm is, what it does and, um, and yeah, how you became the, the face of it for for the most part i right? know um ecamm live started out as a live streaming tool and um, it was a way for us to go to facebook rather than just clocking into facebook we could actually do some nice things with scenes bring cameras in microphones and um started out like that now a lot of people use it for recording podcasts for doing live streams uh just for recording all my course videos and things i just Rather than needing to plug into a memory card into the back of the camera, I can plug it into the computer. I've got a lovely control panel in front of me. Uh, so it's really a, a powerhouse production tool, video production tool, but it is Mac only. Um, but I, yeah, I think, and I was getting people on YouTube saying, I've watched a load of videos, but yours is the first one that I get. And, yeah. and so I realized, and I kind of laugh and say I'm quite simple, really. I, I listen to some of the some of the tech guys talking away with, even camera settings and audio things yeah. and they lose me and i and i think that's what makes me able to put this across in a simple way is yeah. I, i'm not really I, i'm not a high-tech person in you know i know enough and i enjoy it i like the gadgets 
Yeah. But I'm able to put this across in a simple way and break down technical things. And so I think, yeah, I've been able to do that. I've built up this audience really on YouTube because of that. And Ecamm have appreciated it. And yeah, it's quite funny. I get emails and messages from people. I think they think I own Ecamm. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Can you do this to you? And I'm like, you know, I just do the training side of this, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's been an absolutely lovely partnership. And I think from from them, from, from Ecamm's side, you know, they want to get on and build this product and really mm -hmm. fine tune it. They're incredibly um, responsive to their audience. And knowing that at that time, I was really doing like, the only training for them. But they were able to go, hey, go over to Adrian here. I was sitting here with the course and was getting this free marketing, really. So it was an absolute win-win. And, and customers were coming through, being able to get up and go on the software uh, you know, as quickly as possible. It, it, yeah, it just worked. And I love that. And I've, I've talked to other customers now who are trying to start businesses. And maybe it's a fairly – I got a customer I'm working with recently, and he was saying um, – it's about sort of building communities and kind of a, another level of webinars. And, and yeah. Uh, yeah. but there's this one bit of software that he keeps recommending everyone to use. And I'm saying, well, what are their training videos like? Oh, they're pretty poor, actually. And I'm saying, well, why don't you, you know, it's, I think I absolutely love what Ecamm has done for me, that, that relationship that it's yeah. given me a platform. People know me on YouTube now because of that. Yeah. Um, and I'm saying to him and others, you know, are there, is there something that you could teach? Is there a bit of software that you recommend? Obviously, yeah, the affiliate really good side of it as well. Be known for that. Yeah. yeah, and and build it from there that they come into that training, and then oh, I actually teach, you know, how to get the best out of this or yeah. uh, your your main. I mean, it, people come into our eCam Academy, and a lot of them, you know, different levels of camera use. Some are already there. Some don't even see it you know a lot of people go i've got no problem with that i think that's fine yeah. um but we do get a lot of people say wow i need to look like that on camera so it yeah. has brought people it's not a random extra training that we did that was the original idea with it you know somebody it's a fairly premium product it's a high yeah. quality yeah um so if someone's paying for that they ought to be looking good when they're showing up and they ought to be interested in it. And that's yeah. been the same kind of relationship with Kajabi as well that I've thought somebody on and using Kajabi making uh, training videos ought to be looking good. So I think yeah. they sit together really well. Yeah, that's very cool. Um, um, just very briefly, talk to us about um, <laughs> what's some of the... Oh, <laughs> I realize I'm, I'm talking about brands and names like we just did Ecom. You've already talked no, about a, Kajabi. Yeah. That's not right. <laughs> I mean, talk talk to me about some of the exposure you got because I know there's some quite big names like uh, highlighting. Oh, who is this like Adrian Salisbury guy? Like his videos look amazing, and yeah, I, I know there's a few people who have sort of um, seen you know seen your your brand pop up. So that's right. Well, I uh, yeah, Mari Smith, um, Facebook Queen, has become a really yeah. good friend actually, and yeah. um, she will call me up from time to time and go, yeah. oh, I'm trying to do this on Ecamm. I can. So we've got on really well. Yeah. Um, Seth Godin, I saw yeah. put a post up um, saying he'd watch my training videos. Uh, quite bizarrely, I've got a neighbor who lives five doors down from me here. And she's actually one of um, Russell Brunson's coaches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what what yeah, a small world. Yeah. And she yeah. said, um, we actually sat the 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 training guys were they were all sitting there in this uh, online meeting watching my videos about ecam um she went that's my neighbor <laughs> amazing <laughs> so yeah uh, <laughs> such a small world um wow that's so cool yeah lots yeah it's been surprising yeah. actually the names that have that have come up actually that have yeah. either thanked me for it or someone has said they've referenced you for watching their yeah. stuff very cool um, Fred, so, uh, yeah, Frank you... Kern, another oh, one. Yeah. I've got a lovely, I've got a lovely Instagram <laughs> clip of his where he's going. This guy, Adrian, really nice guy. He's really helped me out with this software. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, you're just going, wow, who else out there? And, and Amazing. I love that. I would never have had that platform and that exposure if it hadn't been for, you know, if I'd have gone, nope, I teach video. This is all I do. But that opportunity came up to serve with ecam and work like that it hasn't meant that i stopped this side of things but mm -hmm. they fit they dovetail so well and yeah it's absolutely given me a an you know platform that i wouldn't have had otherwise 
um, yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. So you, you mentioned a few of the other brands and, and I, I know that um, you do teach like other academies. Talk, talk to us about like what, what you offer currently in terms of your, your academies, as you call them, yep. uh, and sort of what you teach in that. Yeah, absolutely. So Ecamm, we've talked about then. So this is the, yeah. the, the this is the software for live streaming, recording. Yeah. Uh, so we do a complete, it's like there's, there's nine hours worth of training inside this that uh, really is everything from literally the first video is downloading and then wow. walking around it and everything you could do in that software. The way we've created it, the way we've come up, most of these, well, this one and, and the YouTube Academy is that we originally did it as a pop-up that you uh, you know, you had to, we only ran it three, four times a year as a live training. And yeah. across those first week, we, we drip, we divided the training out into five days. We dripped it out across the first week. We created this safe space, this Facebook group to practice and go live in, yeah. uh, work really well. But as I've, you know, that, that worked fine when it was intense and it was full on through, um, 2020, 20, 2021. Yeah. Um, but now we've gone, right, we only want to run that twice a year now. It's left too long a gap for people, you know, to say now, sorry, you can't get in now till February when we run yeah. it again. Yeah. So we then opened it up and you can now access the online training whenever you like. And then we give you a ticket to the next live event. So, so they still get to have that, but they've gone through the training in advance. Yeah. So that, that's a, 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 a method of training that we like this cohort style mm -hmm. and, and definitely we've had a lot of feedback from people saying wow that is so good to get to practice together like that to work yeah. and support each other that's cool um, but to be able to do the online training in my own time watching those videos we give yeah. them updates for life Got a bit of a hybrid of of the two yeah, there yeah absolutely yeah. so that's the ecam model we then did a youtube academy that runs exactly the same style but we're then helping people and again, it's not random. We just said about Ecamm gave me a platform. Well, that totally yeah. happened on YouTube. And if it hadn't been for YouTube, nobody would know who I was really. You know, I don't get on stage and do, you know, I don't have a podcast. So for me, my 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 shop window, my gateway really was, was YouTube. So yeah. I then, much like when people ask me, how do you do that on camera? I start talking about YouTube and how powerful it's been. And people say, how do you do that? You know, I'd love to get started on YouTube. So we, yeah. we, we built a YouTube Academy. So again, they fit together. You know, we've got this core one in the middle. We've called it now impact rather than pro video Academy, but this is getting you up and going as quickly as possible on camera. And for some people, it just happens within a day. You've got all this stuff around you, you unbox it, you put it together and it just works as you know. Yeah. So then we're going yeah. right now you've got this set up. We can send you off to Ecamm if you're on a Mac and let's get you uh, using this and recording this way. And then let's send you over to YouTube and get you started with the channel, really focusing in on what types of videos that you need to be making to get found. Yeah. Um, so many people start and get discouraged because nobody's watching their videos. But then yeah. when we start looking at it and going, but how do you think these videos are going to get, you know, the titles are after the yeah. thumbnails aren't good. So yeah. we help them all with that. And then the last one really in there is our Kajabi Academy, um, which then for those that want to take this further and actually build an online course or a membership, yeah. we can help them with that as well. So they all, they all fit together really of, of, of someone who, uh, you know, on, online entrepreneur who wants to get going, look professional and actually get out there and market a business. Um, That's very cool. Yeah. So I'm, I'm all about systems and process. What can you think of any sort of, any times where you come across something that you automated or used used a tool for or didn't work or any anything yep. that you sort of because because I know that there's is it how many in your team that it's your it's your family right three so of us three yeah 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 my wife and my son yeah so um, that's a great family uh, tight knit team um, it is it's quite unique. yeah talk to me I, I realize that it's. Um, <laughs> Of others you've all have, got to get on <laughs> well yeah um and that came again during lockdown down yeah. owen, owen was at college at the time and uh, was sent home and got the you know he's home over the summer anyway and said yeah can i help you he's interested in youtube and yeah can i help you a bit with this and realized actually very quickly i mean even i'm, I'm talking to him about kajabi about ecamm and he's like, yep, 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 got that, yep. And actually, doesn't it do this? Oh, I'm, I'm actually he's learning teaching from you. these youngsters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just Very so cool. natural and effortless. So it, mm. he's, he's such a compliment. 
to yeah. us really but so that works really well and he's in here full time rachel tends to come in part time really as and when yeah um but yeah it's it's we did have a uh we did outsource for two years two and a half years to a video editor mm-hmm. um overseas that worked really well but actually we've we're at a place where we're not really producing enough videos to keep him on full time okay um and i realize realizing you know, owen's enjoying that so he's taken that side of things back got it but yeah it works it works really well and i i don't want to build out a team i don't enjoy managing staff and um it's a whole other pressure and so for us actually we're we're very happy here and our goal is to keep this as light and simple as possible in that way and we yeah, sort of know our areas and what we do um systems wise i mean i've kind of been around the houses it's one of those things it's it's um it's like trying to find the perfect camera bag and I've never been able to, you know, I've got multiple bags that never seem to be just the right one for everything. And I'm a bit like that with my tools. We've used um, yeah. Trello and things. I've tried Monday. Um, we're on ClickUp at the minute, which feels, okay. Owen used Notion, but I found like I had to, it was a bit like building on WordPress. I felt like I had to build something every time I wanted to add a note in or yeah. I, he loves it and still uses it. But we found yeah. ClickUp was a, a nice tool that fits in between as a yeah. project management tool sure. uh, um is it perfect i don't i don't know i think to be honest what i did with trello i loved the very visual dragging things across boxes yeah <coughs> kind of did what i wanted there i do think kajabi has been an incredible tool for us mm-hmm. uh, i really wouldn't want to try and be without it now yeah when i started out i was building i used to do, build websites back in the day wow before I was doing photography. And um, so I was happy with WordPress, but I still, uh, you know, it's plugins. I didn't quite trust it. Yeah. All of a sudden I'm trying to take money through this. Do I, am I convinced that I've really put this together? Right. Yeah. Um, and I, f- <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I, I oh. found that, um, yeah, Kajabi just brought everything together into one place for me. I, yeah. I love the fact that the support is there. I wasn't trying to connect up a landing page to a, an email system to, uh, a, you know, different things like this. It's, it just all fits in together. Yeah, um, it's really simple. I, I, and I'm a massive, and I know there's a lot of, yes, you've got to pay for it. But I genuinely think as I added together all the different things I was paying for, we were paying pretty much the same amount anyway and yeah. not getting the support. I really would encourage people to get started on Kajabi as soon as possible. Yeah. And actually there's something about having that, you know, $150 uh, as sort of the the starting point, that monthly bill. Uh, There's something about that when that goes out. Oh, that's another month. (laughs) Right. I really need to do something before that comes out next month, you know? Um, So I don't think it's, I, I think you can waste a lot of time trying to hack things together. Actually, just if you're, if you're, determined to do this and committed to it uh definitely would just recommend getting in there uh that's definitely been a big time saver for us yeah i've certainly certainly witnessed that firsthand going from something like wordpress or Mm. shopify into kajabi it's very drag and drop and i I talk about kajabi quite a lot so yeah i'm I'm very much sold with it yeah Um, it simplifies everything right so i I run a a one-person business right now yeah um, started this hit the reset button last year and so yeah. I'm, I'm keen to to understand about systems and process. And I started a YouTube channel last year. So amazing. Um, yeah, trying to follow your videos in, on are your great. footsteps. I'm loving them. Um, <laughs> doing really well with them. Yeah, This one's amazing. Yeah. Um, talk, <laughs> if anyone was looking at starting a YouTube channel, and I, I talk about this a little bit, yep. but seeing as though you have built such a great YouTube channel, loads of followers, what, what are the sort of, I know it's a long game, yep. um, but what are the sort of uh, top tips that you can, um if anyone was watching this video and say hey I, i've just started a youtube channel i'm not seeing yeah. any traction the videos i put out no one's watching them yeah. um what are the sort of main things that you would recommend yeah absolutely and i think i don't think the size of the channel matters as much as people think it does it, it does in this you know yes if you've got subscribers that all of a sudden are getting a message saying oh adrian's just gone live or adrian's yeah. just posted another video up but youtube isn't massively waiting uh, bigger channels against smaller ones. Uh, every video really does stand on its own merits. So yeah. don't be discouraged. Firstly, I would say to people, uh, the main thing is understanding that 
the way this works and it isn't just youtube it's google you, you know you, what do we do what is it that we type into google when we're struggling with um maybe it's kajabi you know how do i do this in kajabi or can yeah. i do this in kajabi are typically yeah. the things that people are going to google for so when you're coming up with this lovely titled video that you're going to post up to um youtube uh, a lot of people treat it or think of it like they're doing a you know the title of a podcast show or a blog post um what's happening is the algorithm you know youtube google is going right i've got this question over here let's look through this huge library and what do we think yeah. is the closest fit to it and getting those titles as close to what people are searching it is the biggest part of it and it's really hard for folk to understand you know we, we've just come out of our youtube academy and we're kind of getting to the end of the two weeks and people are going oh i think i'm getting this now you know that it's yeah. um it really is going okay that's that's probably a great video but how do you think google's going to put that in front of that person that it doesn't doesn't make sense so it's looking at those keywords and yep. actually the order of them and and so when we're making how-to videos or review videos which tend to be the the best ones that get found mm. um so our, you know this i'm on this shore mv7 microphone well if you typed in set up shore mv7 microphone my video comes up top it's been a, a fantastic one for us customers that have said wow you know i was really struggling with that i wasn't getting the volume out of it and i've just gone through your training and you know thank you so much yeah um and then you know they're then going realizing this is part of our equipment there's an equipment list to download uh, there's a pdf and then you know that we're bringing so them onto to an email world. list yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. but that that's i think the main thing it, it's so hard to go what what is the strongest what is the most they're all the most important thumbnails yeah. so getting that title as close to the search phrase as possible will will put you in the running and yeah. then the thumbnail is okay what is when they look down that list those suggested videos which one are they going yeah. to click yeah. um yeah. but then obviously the content needs to match up as well and getting quickly in we don't do intros uh rarely kind of uh or certainly up front aren't asking for people to subscribe and like them mm. um we'd like straight in uh, we're, and this is something that owen brought really he's saying to me look People don't care, you know, with, hey, I'm Adrian and I've done this training and I've helped all these. He's like, nobody cares. <laughs> you know, they just, want the solution to their problem they're, they're that they're searching in. for. They're probably <laughs> frantically kind of trying to get this solution. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're all skipping past that bit. So we mm. tend to get straight to it in our videos. We're like, right. So you want to get this. Let's get into it. Open the screen up or, or walking around. Yeah. Um, yeah. And people Very will cool. like or subscribe if they like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and not if they don't. Nice. Um, just quickly want to ask this question about AI. Uh, it's obviously a very hot topic and, yeah. you know, the the future is um, quite worrying uh, if you think <laughs> about it, really. What what do you use, if any, AI tools or um, chat or sort of writing tools or video production tools, if any, in your sort of business today that helps you speed things up? Yeah, Um not too much, if I'm honest. I, I yep. think we do in terms of um, suggested videos and things and, and the likes of TubeBuddy and these other extensions yep. that we use on YouTube yep. uh, do come up with these. I know Owen is looking at and has been using some good tools actually that will take a, a full length video and slice it out and to create some shorts out of it yep. and things like that. He's been he's testing that very much at the minute and he's saying, yeah, I'm really liking what this is doing um I, I like it for you know we will there are again plugins that we can put onto our youtube channel uh vid iq is another one that yeah. will actually say okay these are from looking at your channel these are suggested topics that they're looking at uh yeah. your audience are looking at elsewhere so things yeah. like that are very powerful yeah i do think yeah, I, I, we've tried. We've actually had a go at doing the whole chat GPT, come up with a title, come up with a script, and we've actually recorded some of those straight out of chat GPT. Um, interesting. It's, it, yeah, I, I, and we do have customers that have, even as we've just come through this last academy, really saying, oh, okay, I'll put it into here. This is what it told me. And mm. I am sort of saying, yeah, but 
what about you? Or you've got customers over here. You've got comments in this. Yeah. You know, Real there's your questions. People. You don't yeah. need to go to a AI tool to say, I wonder yeah. what my audience are looking for. You've actually yeah. got them there. Mm. Um, so I do think people can get a bit lost in it. Obviously, it's it's fantastic and powerful. We're using Descript as well. Nice. Um, Owen I mean, doesn't. I like to. <laughs> but, you know, that is very clever as well. That's a video editing tool that uh, heavily leans on the AI side of things and can regenerate your voice and yeah. um, keep you locked on screen when you're looking elsewhere and things like yeah. that. <laughs> it's all kind of in beta at the minute. It's it, I'm not yeah. convinced. But yeah. it, it just shows you the power of it. Cool. Um, how about yourself? Are you? Are you... <laughs> I, I'm using a little bit, but I think most of it is like a, a good starting point. And yeah, it gives me ideas. Yes, but then you have to apply some common knowledge because you know. It's... Yeah. It's not that common, is it? No, that's sense? right. Yeah, it is. And for doing research and things, that's really, yeah. you're right. You know, if I were wanting to do a review of a microphone or something, I could ask mm. it for some suggestions. Sure. Or, yeah. Um, and it can treat it as a researcher. Yeah. 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 Cool. Very conscious of your time. Um, I'm just going to ask, like, if someone was watching this, thinking about starting an online business or have just started and it yep. was a bit messy, what are the sort of... Um, best practices like lessons learned from your because i know you've mm. sort of not pivoted but you've you've sort of found your niche over the years yeah uh in terms of what you're doing now and it's fantastic and you've recently rebranded which is just amazing what would your sort of big takeaways be if you were to say or if you were to speak to yourself back in sort of bbd yeah uh, 2017 um <laughs> i think kind of Grit your teeth. <laughs> this is going to be a longer journey than you think. Yeah. I remember naively <laughs> um, kind of saying to Rach, you know, I wanted to um, take out a loan at that time to sort of go, look, if I could just stop the day job for three months, we'll be sorted, you, you know. And, and it, you kind of look and go, wow, three months, you should have been sorted in three months, but it, it didn't. It takes a mm. lot longer to get these, to get the traction. And, um, and I see a lot of people, sadly, that, try it, give up. No, it didn't work for me. And um, so I think that, and funnily, I was just talking to my brother a couple of days ago he's out in Vancouver. Um, we were chatting about some stuff and he's, he's, he said, I'm so proud of you. He said, I can remember, he said, I like everyone else didn't get this online thing you were trying to do. Uh, wasn't really convinced you were ever going to make any money out of it. And um, he went, I, I so proud that you kind of, just dug your heels in and went, no, I believe in this. I'm going to do yeah. this. And I don't really care what other people around me are saying. Yeah. Because uh, that's quite often the case, I think, is that we don't have that network around us. That was what was so big for us guys, wasn't it? Going, Going to, to live events. BBD yeah. Live and yeah. things like that. Yeah. To just get in a room with people that get you and go, okay, I'm not the only one that, you know, you can see the big names online that are making their millions and it just feels so distant and unachievable really but to yeah. get in a room get around people uh so yeah i would definitely do more of that uh you know getting to some of these or getting to some of these communities more that uh, can support you and help you out yeah but i think just i don't know so again i'm pulling more from customers that i've worked with that overthink here and spend mm. sort of years that got this course and never actually putting it out there but i think what i found when i pivoted across and did the video course i'd got no audience other than this group of people that were in the bbd community <laughs> um that was hard you know you launch you yeah. don't really have an email list um we're encouraged to get out there and portion and launch to you know a small list but that's really discouraging i yeah. think what i would say to people really is try to build this audience first and for me, uh, I'm, I'm convinced YouTube is the way to do that, really. just And actually, a, a great way to test this idea of yours is, is it actually going to work? Is there mm. an audience for it? If you were making videos and as long as you titled them up right and you'd done everything right, is there an audience that are um, watching these videos? What kind yeah. of feedback are you getting from it? Getting people off of YouTube onto your email list. And so to, to get this, so you're not, you know, you're not then building this course, uh, doing this webinar or challenge or however you're launching it to a handful of people and then just getting discouraged, but giving yourself a real chance to almost, you, you know, you want to be building up this email list to a thousand people um, 
plus really before you actually yeah. go right now i'm ready to launch a product yeah. you know we we see these overnight successes and it, it can be really discouraging sometimes you know how did they manage to do that but the nine times out of ten there's been this backstory going on that they've either been coaching or serving or they've built up a community that then when they go now i'm ready to release a product based on what yeah. that audience have said they want that's when they you know you get your overnight success because you've got this audience going about time you did something yeah uh, it's typically like an overnight success 10 years in the making yeah but absolutely it, i mean and everyone i chat to it just this stuff takes time yeah um and people do underestimate how long it takes to build a business right yeah. you're building a business online um and you have to have that sort of digital footprint and yeah. you know a way to digitally serve uh, but yeah people like massively underestimate yeah how long it takes so as long as you're able to put in the time and and learn from your mistakes right yeah then, and this yeah. is that you know if you were going down the youtube route for instance you can do this and batch it you know and you could do mm. like i think that's what i would have been focused on more at the start really is going right okay these fridays that i've got let's script five videos let's record five videos let's you yeah. know and, and work it through and actually feed this machine so that it's working yeah. I'm bringing people through, I'm building an audience and almost just not worrying about the, I don't need to start the Kajabi bits and things sure. like that at that point. I'm yeah. just trying to build up this community first and prove yeah. that there's something And it's there. learned skills as well, isn't it? People yeah. just think, oh, I'll just apply myself, but you've got to learn them. Yeah. These are new skills. Yeah. They're to totally different. Definitely. So. And all of us, you know, the, those first few videos that we do aren't great. As we get better, <laughs> get more confident, get to, yeah. you know, hear some of that feedback and adapt. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's getting out there, I guess, with as low a possible a commitment, um, you know, rather than sort of, yeah, starting off with Needing all of the it to pay all of the bills on day one, easy yeah. webinar and all the, you yeah. know, the, the email platforms and Kajabi yeah. and everything that, yeah, if you're able to get going, it doesn't, you know, YouTube's totally free. Yeah. Uh, get started, get serving, get trying that and expect this to be okay. You know, six months time maybe I'll be ready to open the doors to something, yeah. but to an audience that actually are ready and wanting it. Yeah. I think as well, Tim, I, I don't know about you, but I find I get really distracted by people's <laughs> ideas. And I mean, I'm yeah. talking here about YouTube. Somebody else might be going, Oh no, YouTube, that's something else I've got to learn. I'm all in on LinkedIn or, or Instagram. Podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Podcast. <laughs> uh, it's whatever's working for you really. And I think being bold enough to go, no, nope, I've only got so much time. This is the platform I'm going all in on. Yeah. Um, we went to social media marketing world at the start of the year and you're going from seminar to seminar and it's, you gotta be on TikTok. Oh, you should be on LinkedIn. If we haven't got your page set up like this and yeah, Instagram, and as you say, podcast, you could just come yeah. out of there going, Oh, how am I supposed to do all this? And as yeah. a solopreneur, even more so yeah. to just Focus. go, no, this is my thing. Um, yeah. I'm going to do this well before I, run off and do anything else yeah i always say there's lots of ways to make money online you've just got to choose what works for you and stick with it absolutely and it can be can be boring and monotonous but it's yep. you know and that's the over hard time bit, it'll it? pay off because yeah <laughs> that's kind yeah. of why we're here is <laughs> just uh, for a chat a lot of yeah. the time yeah <laughs> cool well thank you very much for your time and your words of no, wisdom that's great um, no, been helpful. If, if they resonate to anyone watching this uh video where can people reach out to you where can they find you on yeah. socials or your adrian salisbury most places so adrian salisbury.com is my website adrian salisbury yeah. on youtube that's probably the best place to come and see what we're doing perfect i'll yeah. link that up in the notes excellent yeah. and um yeah hopefully i'll see you in 3d soon and enjoy your time in southern california thank it's you back in southern california bbd live isn't it yes yeah orange yeah. county yeah amazing yeah um, <laughs> have a great time thank you um safe travels and thanks very much for your words of wisdom today no problem at all thank you tim see you mate speak soon adrian thanks a lot so that's it hopefully you found value in this interview with adrian salisbury if any of this interests you feel free to reach out to him direct and if you are thinking about yeah i understand how to maybe look good on camera but what could my overall business model look like there are so many ways to make money online I've put together a free workshop. Head over to timpeakman.com forward slash workshop and get instant access to this free training where I walk and talk you through how I've built this business, what steps I would do if I was to hit the reset button tomorrow. That link once more, timpeakman.com forward slash workshop. Hope you found value in this video and look forward to seeing you again on another one soon.